it's Wednesday, Wednesday the 23rd January 2019, 06.36 hours Greenwich Mean Time. That's the moon, and just over the council offices, Venus. And all this is icy, icy like the wind. And I can just spin round and I can feel it being ever so, ever so slippery beneath my feet. Going to Newport. It's an emergency beano, making up for Saturday. Still got the cold, feeling a lot better, less gungy. I need to do some stuff with about.me. Buses are running correctly today. Mighty nippy. Although, not like Virginia, or not like, certainly not like Finland. Well, Newport there's less cold, and there's more ice. So overall, running. Moving on. So, where are you sit in a pub? <clears throat> well, for me anyway, he says, opening the iPhone again, is close to power outlets. Ooh, some down there. My normal seat, um, they're doing the whole unloading on it. So, I'm sure, and these high tables are new. But I wanted to watch the TV, and well, anyway, Burns Night. So this is Bade, <coughs> our Robbie, in the Almond Brewery. Rich, smooth amber ale with hints of toffee and caramel. 4.6% alcohol by volume. So either that or lots of Thomas Watkins stuff. Or pole sockets. Mmm. I'm getting sort of a whiskey cask taste thing. I won't call it smooth, it's certainly rich. Mm. Slightly bitter on the tail. Yeah. B plus in a bit. Well, plenty of signage. Not sure about the craft of craft. Oh, I don't know. Depends what's on cask. I preferred it when it was pink. Oh look, sunny. Sunny days, frosty nights. Quick, I need to get this in before the music comes in and I get a takedown. Gloucester Brewery. Biddle, 3.7% alcohol by volume, a session dark, ruined flooring, lots of pump clips. Mm. That's cool, it's a mild, but it's porterish. And nice and refreshing. B plus in a bit. It's been reorganised. That used to be sure, and this used to be there. And this is Long Yard Owl by Cockley. Long Yard has a dash between them. That may or may not be right, I have no idea. 4.7% alcohol by volume from the West Country. Hmm. Um, malty, a little sweet, spicy, that's a little bit different, I'm going to say B plus on a bit, in fact I will, 3.25 out of 5, because I'm a hard marker. It's cold, I wish I went to the harbour fish bar because they have the finest chips in Newport, however I still had chips. So, here we go. Follow the tiny bear. Always start close to the power. Uh, charge it just about anything. And of course, condiments. Solid flooring, Mr. Manning. Uh, 
Tiny Batch Edition 094 Wild Fermented Cherry Tart 5.5% alcohol by volume. Two pound and five p and a half. Oh, I've seen a lot worse. Mmm, um, kind of rich and sweet smelling. Oh, mm, slightly sour, slightly tart. You get the cherries, the bit of cherries in the finish. That's quite nice, actually. B plus in a bit. For beginners, I'd say. Another tiny batch edition. This is 93. At 6.2% alcohol by volume. Belgian spiced orange blonde. As you would say. There was a fire outside. Um, yeah. It smells of orange. Oh yeah, it's orange, it's spiced, there's a hint of bubblegum, so it makes it Belgian. The orange comes through early on and it's citrusy and refreshing, and then there's a spicy bit of, oh that's a B++. What a wonderful ale, really impressed. Well, this is Neon Raptor from Nottingham, Naruto Whirlpools. S. 4% alcohol by volume. It has oats. So nice mouthful. Gentle fruity aroma. Yeah, you get the oats. A nice thick body. Fruity. Tropical. Gentle fruity, slightly bitter finish. Really easy drinking, B++. Oakham Ales, um, they had um, the release of the cans here, amongst other places. There you go. Uh, Thrill Seeker, 4.8% alcohol by volume. Four tops, four tops, close enough. Four hops, all from New Zealand and Australia. New world, yeah, as opposed to the old world. Old South Wales, yeah. Anyway, this is going to go take them. Mm, it's supposed to be passion fruit and grapefruit. Huge amount of grapefruit. I love grapefruit. That is sharp, bitter, grapefruity. I love a passion fruit, but I'm going to go for B plus because I just like the sharpness. 